Hi guys, I wanted to do another quick video on something that has been, you know, asked a lot lately um, and that's the topic of inflammation. I know a lot of you think, you know, that going to the gym it's pretty, it's good and it acts as an anti-inflammatory uh, agent to your body but the opposite could be true especially if you're lifting weights uh, you know the stress that your body goes through sometimes you know it actually causes inflammation in the joints and you know that's usually not a very good anticipated outcome of course working out you know the benefits of working out greatly outweigh you know anything else but you know in this case you really have to consider you know that your muscles may be inflammated from time to time uh, one thing that I did find that helps a lot with inflammation at least for me is the combination of those two roots I call it the king and the queen on the right hand side the yellowish is some chopped up fresh ginger that I just chopped up and on the left it's turmeric root so ginger and turmeric root help a lot with inflammation they have they had helped me recover in the past from an injury that I had in my rotator calf uh, I used to do a very heavy bench press and the difference between you know the bench press and you know the shoulders you know the, I was lifting much heavier weight that my chest could handle but my shoulders couldn't so that leads usually in a rotator tear or a, a, you know an injury a sprain like what I had in mind lasted for quite a bit but you can fix it up you know with physical therapy you know or exercise like I did and it would go away but the major thing that you have to do when you have an injury like that is take something that's anti-inflammatory if you go to the doctor they will probably prescribe you some medication I'm not really a big fan of that stuff so for me you know what really worked is that combination here so you can eat it as is you know I really can't do that actually it's really hard for me so what I do is I make it into a tea I just basically pour this into the into a tea you know tea jar like this let me just do it real quick And you know, I always prefer to cut it fresh. I mean, you can get it in uh, tea bags. I, I don't think it's the same thing, to be honest. So, you know, for me, you know, I'd rather cut it up fresh. In Florida, they have it. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's imported or grown somewhere else. But, you know, so I just put it in and then I pour hot tea over it, and hot water over it from the kettle. And I let it sit for about 20 minutes. I have a cup warmer, so this kettle just sits in my cup warmer in the room, and that steeps. And in about 20 minutes, you have some a very good anti-inflammatory drink. So that was it, guys. I, I drink all of this. You know the liquid is good. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put a comment back in the comments below, or leave a like if you like that video. I'll see you guys later.